Hey everybody, it's Michael here with GoodEReader.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to load ebooks to your Sony PRS T2 e reader. This is the latest generation Sony e reader. It just came out and it's not actually available in most markets yet, but if you want to purchase it, you can get it from www.shopereaders.com. Copying ebooks to your device goes beyond just using Windows Explorer. In some cases, you may have purchased ebooks from other bookstores, or you may have downloaded them from the internet, and you want to have a little bit more flexibility and control over your ebook reading experience. Once you start loading 20, 30, 40 books, your e reader could get quite cl cluttered. So you want to organize them into collections. You want to be able to have the freedom to purchase books from other retailers other than Sony. And Along the way, I'm going to share various reasons why you would want to use particular programs. So the first program I want to look at today is using Calibre. It's a free download from the internet. It really allows you a lot of control over your ebooks. In a lot of cases, when you're downloading ebooks from the internet, you are missing cover art. Maybe the book uploader's name is an author's name. Maybe you want to uh, have all of your books with the author's last name first instead of the first name. So Calibre will allow you to do a lot of this type of stuff. Once you have your Sony e-reader connected to your PC of e, the micro USB to USB cable, and you have the most recent version of Calibre, under device, you see a picture here. This is indicative to the Sony e-reader. So these are the, the, um, the books by default that come with the device. We have a few books and comics that we loaded on for our hands-on video uh, review. So if you want to check out all of our unboxings, reviews, and comparison videos, check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash good e-reader. We're going to have our library clicked on right here. And then we're going to click on Add Books. And we're going to click on one book that we have here, A Wanted Man by Lee Child. You can see its cover art tells you the ebook format. One of the cool things about Calibre, when you right click and then click Edit Metadata and then Edit Metadata individually, is a lot of control here. So if this book was a part of a series and by default, it didn't have it here. You could write it and it would save. And if the title was, say, misspelled or maybe uh, whoever posted the book might have had the author's name as the title or a lot of cases you have a title and then slash author's name. So author sort would be how the author sort would be on your e-reader. So it would be the last name first. And then the first name second. So on my Sony e-reader, if I searched for C, this book would appear. You can also see ISBN numbers, ratings, publishers. Let's say, for example, this book did not have the cover art or maybe this book had misspellings. You can click on Download Metadata. And Calibre will actually talk to Google Books and Amazon to fetch book details, ISBN numbers, and so on. So Let's click on one here and click next. Now you see that there's different cover arts here. I'm going to maybe select the one from Amazon. Now the cover art has changed. ISBN number has changed and it also gave you the ASIN number. Full details on our comments is basically reviews and what the book's all about. So I'm just going to click OK. Now you see a lot of this stuff has just changed. Before it just said EPUB and it didn't have all, all of this information. Now it's here and it has different cover art. So this is one of the advantages of Calibre. Now let's say that we want to copy this book now to our Sony e-reader. It's fairly simple. All you have to do is right click, then click highlight send to device and then send to main memory. You saw under jobs, it went one and then it went really quickly. If we click under our device here, it says a wanted man by Lee Child. You can copy many different books to your device at the same time. I just did one for the purpose of this tutorial, but let's say you download like 50 books from the internet or from Project Gutenberg, Smashwords and companies like that. You can just highlight them all and send them to your device. 
Uh, this also allows you to form a little bit of collections and things like that. In, in, um, if you want to see exactly how you do collections, consult our YouTube channel. We have detailed caliber uh, how-to videos, so you might want to check that out. So you saw what we did with caliber. And it's actually pretty easy, you know, once you sort of uh, get your head around what you're actually doing here. And this book is now on our device. So if we were to unplug our Sony e-reader from our PC, this book would automatically be synced. When you download the Sony e-reader for PC software, this is what you see. You can actually check out the reader store. Anything that you buy from here will automatically be synced to your device. So let's say that you maybe your Sony e-reader, you left it at work, or maybe it's in your bedroom. You can, through this software, buy books, and then they'll automatically be sent via Wi-Fi to your device. In order to use this, you have to, you know, register your book. You have to register, like, your, your ID and stuff. If you want to use Reader for PC to copy over paid books, this is the only way that you can do it because for some reason, the Sony PRS T2 is not recognized by Adobe Digital Editions. But in order to copy over purchase content to your Sony device, you actually need Adobe Digital Editions installed and you need to set up an account. So we have an account registered. It's, um, our, it's our, one of our email addresses. And in most cases, this would work to copy them. But the Sony e-reading software for PC actually has Adobe Digital Editions functionality built right into it. You can also see here when we click on Reader that here are our books on our device. So if you wanted to say, you know, delete something, you can do it here. One of the other benefits about Reader for PC is that it'll actually update firmware updates for you. Uh, we've already updated it. If you click on info, it says your Adobe ID. This is your, you know, this is basically like the email address associated with Adobe Digital Editions. You can see here that this is also the email address that we use to connect it to the Sony store. And you could also change uh, the country. So there's some options here. I'll let you just sort of read them here. You might be wondering how do I download Reader for PC? Well, when you actually uh, connect up your Sony e-reader to your PC for the first time, there's two drives. One's your Sony drive, which we'll show you this in a minute, but one's setup. And this is the Sony reader for both Mac and PC. It's basically the same uh, for each sort of platform. And here's like where your newspapers, here's your pictures, here's the notes that are on your device as well as the collections. To make collections, you actually have to do them physically on your Sony e-reader. And then here's your sync. Okay, so what we wanna do now is we want to add a paid book to our Sony e-reader that we purchased at another e-book store. So we're gonna click on file and then import files. And we're going to click on a Chelsea Kane book here by Macmillan Publishing. You can move these if you want. Give some details. Okay, once you highlight it, there's some options here at the bottom. Copy selected items to the reader. Add selected to your favorites. Add selected items to your collection. Or delete selected items. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy selected items to the reader. And it's really as simple as that. You can see here, there's our book. And what we're going to do is actually sync it now.
Okay, so now this book is officially on our Sony e-reader. So it's it's fairly simple and. You know, basically, here you go. Now, the last thing that I want to show you is how to copy ebooks to your reader, reader via Windows Explorer. You can see here that with uh, Windows Explorer, we have Calibre here. These are Calibre files. You want to you don't want to delete that. And you can see here these are Digital Editions books. So you can see like a, a number of titles here. So this book here, Chelsea Kane, that we copied over, you can see that this is where it is right here. So it's copied to media books. So just to show you the directory structure again, when you first connect up your Sony e-reader, this is what you see. You never want to mess with these two files. You don't want to mess with this file. You just want to click on Sony e-reader media and then you can copy books in the books directory you can see here when we used caliber it actually created a separate folder for lee child you can create custom folders if you wanted to so for the next book that we're going to copy over uh, a book by richard cadry You can simply just drag and drop it, and it's on your e-reader now. Uh, alternatively, you can uh, right-click, click New, Folder, and then and then drag and drop it in here. If you have a ton of, like, you know, if you have, like I said before, like 30, 40 books, this could get full fast. If you're a Lee Child fan, you can just drag and drop basically all of your Lee Child books in here. Makes it a little bit easier to like manage your device over the long term. So this has just been a simple video tutorial to teach you how to use Calibre, the Adobe Reading Software, and uh, good old Windows Explorer. If you have any questions or concerns, you can please comment on this video on our YouTube channel. If you're seeing these uh, videos and other websites, you can check out youtube.com slash goodereader. And uh, stay tuned for Good E-Reader because we're going to be posting a ton more videos such as Sony PRS T1 versus the T2 and uh, a ton more. So stay tuned. And for goodereader.com, my name is Michael and everybody take care.